Hello there and welcome back to Forza Top Gear Laps Rivals, the spin-off where we pit a couple of cars with common ground and close PIs against each other to see which one comes out on top. In this episode we take a look at two race-inspired track specials of existing high-performance road cars. Firstly, we have the Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale. Taking inspiration from the 360 Medina Challenge Racing Series, the Challenge Stradale was designed to be more track-focused than the standard 360. First point of call was of course weight reduction, with the Challenge Stradale weighing up to 110 kilograms less than the standard 360 if you specified all the weight saving options, but they went further than that. Adding an additional 20 horsepower to the 3.6 litre V8 engine through the use of modifications to the intake and compression, they then went on to enhance the car's onboard systems. Throttle response was improved, as well as steering feedback. And then finally, the car received ceramic brakes from the Enzo Ferrari and a lightweight body kit, along with, of course, the famous Challenge to Dali stripe. This made the Challenge to Dali quicker in all aspects over any other road model of the 360, and as a result, it is easily the most sought after of all of the Ferrari 360 range. The challenges a challenger for today is this, the Porsche 911 GT3, designed to be a road-going version of the Carrera Cup car. This 996 chassis coded 911 is the first generation of the 911 GT3, which is a nameplate that persists to this very day. As you'd expect, the first step in creating the GT3 was losing unnecessary weight, removal of sound deadening, rear seats, sunroof and air conditioning, among various other tweaks. Next up, a unique engine. The 3.6 litre Mezga engine is based on racing units used in the 962 and 911 GT1, giving the car a significant boost in prestige and power over a standard 996. Finally, the car was finished off with a retuned suspension setup, lighter wheels, and of course a rear wing helping to increase downforce. This particular version is a 2004 model, which was the first time it was offered in the United States, featuring better brakes, as well as a horsepower jump resulting in an extra 26 horsepower. So uh, those are the cars, let's see how they did on the track. First up then, we have the 2003 Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale, 409 horsepower, 275 foot-pound torque, 2,844 pounds of weight. It is the most powerful out of the two cars, it is also the lightest, it is also the noisiest, it makes a hell of a noise, the 360 Challenge Stradale. It's a car that I really do quite like a lot. I do like the Ferrari 360, it's quite a forgotten car these days, but uh, you know, back in my sort of era when I was growing up, this was the supercar, and the Challenge Stradale is the ultimate version of that, and I really do like it. I love the body kit, I love the stripe, uh, it's a really cool car. As far as it goes to drive, well, my love for it only increases every time I drive this thing. I love driving the 360 Challenge Stradale, it is a handling legend. If you've watched any iteration of Fort Stop Gear Laps, I always sing the praises of this car and it's no different this time round. It is an absolutely excellent car to drive handling wise. It is so, so very good, so sticky, gets turned in really well. Really awesome driving car, one of the top tier Ferraris in the game. Of course the trade off for that is it doesn't have that much straight line speed, 409 horsepower these days in Ferrari world is nothing. I mean even the base Ferrari is making 550 horsepower, so uh, yeah, not particularly quick in a straight line, but a fantastic handling car nonetheless. Next up well, we have the 2004 Porsche 911 GT3, 381 horsepower, 284 foot-pound torque, 3160 pounds of weight. It does have the edge on torque over the Ferrari, and I will get this out of the way quickly. Yes, the GT3 RS would be a more comparative car to the 360 Challenge Dali, however, I'm only working with what we've got here in Forza Motorsport 7, and we don't have a 996 generation of the GT3 RS, so we're having to make do with the standard GT3. It still should put up a pretty good fight, though the statistics aren't that far off of each other. Of course, if you want my overall opinion, the 996 is my least favourite generation of 911. I think it... I, I hate the front end on it, it's the worst thing. I think the back end's probably the best looking 911 back end, but the front end, I can't get over how bad it looks. But, uh, you know, the GT3 uh, does improve things a little bit. As far as it goes to drive, it is a good car to drive, certainly. It's nowhere near on the level of the 360 Challenge to Dali, though. Uh, the front end does have some lift, and the weight distribution on this is a little bit wonky, because, of course, because it's a 911, the engine's in the back. And what that basically means is you get understeer at low speeds and then oversteer as you exit out of corners. As you increase the speed in this car, it does get better, the downforce does kick in, and it's actually a pretty good car to drive. 
at higher speeds, but at lower speeds, and this track does have a lot of low speed corners, you really do need to watch it because this car does like to have a good bit of understeer. Anyways, onto the times, and unsurprisingly, the fastest car of today was the Ferrari 360 Challenge to Dali, going 67th place with 118.247, which is a hella impressive time. Uh, it beats out the California T Ferrari, the Aston Martin DB11, Porsche 959. Stupidly quick time. It's not that far off a modern day Ferrari FF. The 360 Challenge to Dali is stupidly good. However, the Porsche 911 GT3 doesn't do too bad, goes into 84th place with 119.5, a free free, beats out, well, one Stradale in the Alfa Romeo 33, beats out a 911 GT2 from the 90s, Camaro ZL1, Aston Martin V12 Zagato, it's only a little bit off of a V12 Vantage S, Jaguar XKRS GT, really good time uh, from the 911 GT3, so both cars did well, but if you want my honest opinion, the 360 Challenge Stradale blows the Porsche out the water, it's so much of a better handling car, but again, I can't, you know, undersell the fact the GT3 did really well considering the age of that car. Anyways, thank you all for watching another edition of Forza Top Gear Laps. Uh, make sure to catch us on Tuesday for a, a new full episode of Forza Top Gear Laps, and catch us at this time next Saturday for another Rivals episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, farewell. La donna è pobre, qual più al vento, una donna è di pensiero, sempre una mamma, e già troviso in